Wholesalers Rob Shore here with Wholesaler Masterminds. I want to introduce you to the brand new Wholesaler Masterminds Rotation Builder and give you some quick instruction on how to use it. When you open your new Rotation Builder, the first tab you'll see is the Monthly View Rotation Builder tab. Please note when you open that, if you see any warnings up here, security warnings, just always hit Enable Content. You might see two warnings, hit Enable Content. We've given you complete instructions in how to use the Rotation Builder here all of the instructions I'm going to take you through on this video. Head to Monthly View Rotation Builder. This is where you're going to customize the name of all of your zones. You'll see I've pre-populated San Francisco and North Bay. Let me put in one more zone. I will put in South Bay. I'll hit Enter. And then notice every month tab has the name of the zone pre-populated for you. Now, very important on the monthly view rotation page, there's a reminder here, all of your input is going to happen on the individual month tabs. Let's go to the month of June. In the month of June, you can see I have every single day assigned to its own cell. All of these gray columns indicate a weekend. So these are Saturdays and Sundays throughout the entire rotation builder. You're welcome to designate an activity in those particular cells but we've taken the liberty of calling them out for you. Now let's go through and take a look at what happens when you start to populate the Rotation Builder. June 2nd, I know I'm going to be in San Francisco. The official designation you want to use is a 1. Then I'm going to be in San Francisco on the 3rd. I'm going to go up to North Bay on the 4th. I'm also going to work it on the 5th. And then I'm going to take an office day. The week of the 9th through the 13th of June, I know I'm going to be on holiday. But you know what? I don't like that phrase, holiday. I want to change that to vacation. And I can do that quite simply back on my main monthly view rotation builder tab. Come back to June. Now it says vacation. I'm going to take the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th. The following week, I know that I have a sales meeting. Sadly, coming back from vacation, I'm rolling right into a sales meeting. And then I'm going to need a couple of office days just to get caught up. And you can continue filling out the rest of the month accordingly. Once you have filled out the month, click Jump Back to Main Tab, and then click Update Rotation Builder and Upload to Outlook. When you do that, there's a confirmation message, and then it indicates that you've successfully updated Rotation Builder and Outlook. OK out of that, and notice that your overview is now immediately populated. There's everything that we added back on the prior tab for the month of June. And at the end of the last column, you'll see that we have the roll up of all of your days in the entire year starting to occur. How does it look inside of Outlook? When you go inside Outlook, you'll see that we have populated for you stuck to the top of each column exactly where you're supposed to be or what you're supposed to do on any given day. And it stays that way whether it's a day view, a work week view, a week view, or a monthly view. We hope you enjoy the new Rotation Builder. It's built by wholesalers for wholesalers. It's designed to save you a ton of time. If you have any questions about the new Rotation Builder, reach out to us at wholesalermasterminds.com.